Hey guys, it's Denise. I am coming to you with a really, really, really quick unboxing. As I told you guys, I was in uh, two book swaps for the month of October for the Halloween season or for the beginning of autumn. And I got about mm, an hour before I have to start getting ready so I can go to work. So we're going to try to get through this pretty fast. Got my scissors. Got this box here. I like how she decorated it. I didn't have time to go in and decorate the box, but everyone's always so more creative than I am. Anyway, guys, today is October the 12th, so I don't know when this is going to be going up because I still have other videos in my vault of videos on my computer to upload. Hell, I still got a couple videos from the springtime that I never uploaded, and I think I'm just going to just trash them. I don't know. It's finally open. She packaged this really, really good, so I am so happy for that. Um, and Falling for Book Swap is started by Carpe Libram Girl, also known as Sarah. Both of the book swap uh, coordinators name are Sarah. That's so cute. My book swap buddy, her name is Jamie, and my, oh my, she packed me quite a lot of stuff. Like, some stuff is going to fall out, but it's jam-packed. <gasps> Oh my gosh. Okay, so to keep you warm, but to keep you warm, see, and I always forget to do that. I grabbed them, but I forgot. <gasps> she got me some scarves. And I love scarves. And I was just looking at some scarves, and oh my god, these are so cute. Ah! But yeah, I got two infinity scarves. So cute. Um, ooh. Some snacks. I love their yellow chocolate. She got me a cute little card. Oh! Don't ever let anyone dull your sparkle. This is the cutest little card ever. Oh! Everybody has such pretty handwriting. I sent her a card to look like chicken scratch. And I am so sorry, <laughs> whoever gets a card for me, because my handwriting sucks. Like, back in the day, it used to be so cute. She sent me two of these that she made out of the tape that she taped around the box. And I'm sure more than likely these can be, like, bookmarks. So, these are so cute as I'm flailing them around. But one says, fall in love with a book, and the other says, I'm thankful for books. That is cute. That is creative. <sighs> Oh. Sorry guys, if you can tell, my sinuses are acting up, as they do like a, quite a few times a year, but she sent me this bag that she just wrote some little sayings on it, and the first saying in the middle is sleep less, read more. I agree. Uh, to read is to live a thousand lives. <laughs> read banned books, go away, I'm reading, fall for a book, oh, every book is an adventure, the book was better, definitely. So many books, so little money. It says time, but it's scratched out, and then she put money because that is the truth. That is absolutely the truth. Um, I love books. I heart books rather. A book a day keeps reality away, and I've been saying that for years. <coughs> Before I um got heavily on Goodreads, and I was like, "Why are you reading?" I'm like, "A book a day keeps." freaking reality away like or boredom at bay or whatever I would say something like that um read eat sleep repeat yes bookworm never judge a book by its movie that is so true this is cute and I need a new bag to carry to work and I'm thinking I might do that um oh ew, this is a mug I can tell I honestly couldn't find her a mug to send her and I sent her some pumpkin chai latte oh she, okay so she made a mug oh she put the chai vanilla card. okay she made a mug and then she said I like big books and I cannot lie and it was one of those 
where you write on it and I'm pretty sure you put it in the oven. I want to do some of that one day. This is so cute. Oh, and in the back it says, read, what's it? Read, read books. This is so cute. So freaking creative. I think this is gorgeous. I like it. And you know I like mugs. Oh my god, I really, oh, her box was amazing and I'm not even halfway there. We both got each other fuzzy socks. Uh, oh my gosh, she found some long fuzzy socks. I don't know how to, nobody had long fuzzy socks. I, but I did send her a pair of fuzzy socks that they were so cute. But these are darling, like they're so cute. Polka dots. And I'm waiting to keep the books to the end. And this candy and this one. And it says, oh, I forgot to read what it's, oh, it didn't say anything on the socks. Okay, this one says, trick or treat. Okay, so I hope this is something you're able to eat. <laughs> as long as it's not meat, I'm okay. <laughs> and oh my God. See, I don't think I put down that I like candy corn, but candy corn is my favorite freaking autumn snack to eat. Besides like caramel popcorn or apple, caramel apples. Like, and so she got me some caramel candy corn and I don't think she watches me but these are probably not gonna last a couple of days probably not even gonna last a day because I snack on them and I don't pay attention love them um <clears throat> oh would you give me this cute little pumpkin candle this is so cute it's probably never gonna get burned it's just gonna sit looking pretty at on time because I have to think with that do you guys do stuff like that where you get cute stuff and you don't ever want to like use it like say it's some like cute candle like that and you're just never gonna burn it I do that quite a lot um I don't know what this is but we're gonna open it oh my gosh she's so freaking thoughtful <gasps> oh my gosh she got me some uh fragrance oils and the scent of leaves and I actually want to get me a oil burner I don't have one but I want one um this one says yum so I'm assuming it's a snack of some kind oh my god see she likes caramel I like caramel too and she had got me this Lindor uh I guess milk chocolate it's just a stick of chocolate and caramel like when people send me snacks good snacks it's just I'm never ever ever going to just and not eat them oh and then she got me a whipped pumpkin spice candle mm. oh and she's so smart she took the the lid she took the lid off <laughs> so it didn't like ding or anything but uh, love candles oh this is gonna start getting burned i got a candle in the last book swap and i put that in the living room to burn and and i think wait a minute What's this? To warm the soul. Oh, what is this? I love this. And I've never bought this, but I, I thought I'm going You can have something quick and easy. I can take it with me to work or whatever. Love this. Um, and then, wow. She gave me four books. I feel like a cheapskate. Um, a book I read that I also think you may like. Mysterious and Sexy. Okay, next book swap. I'm going to be this awesome. I really am. Jane. What if Jane Eyre fell in love with a rock star? So I'm guessing this is a modern retelling of um, Jane Eyre. I've never read Jane Eyre. Um, I think I got it on my Kindle, so more than likely maybe I can read Jane Eyre and then go into this. And I'm starting to get into modern retellings of stories. I think they're pretty awesome. Uh, so the next book. And it says, a book I think you will, I think will be so good, <laughs> but I haven't read it yet. I need this for my collection too but it is where she went by Gail Foreman and if you guys know I read this last year before the movie came out I really enjoyed it like 
but I'm not going to tell anybody what happens. But I'm so happy for that. A book from your wish list. That's the third book. <coughs> this is just like a candy candy curve. Yes, because I've been wanting to read these books for the longest because I hear they're so good. But I believe this is book one in the J. Cronover, um, what is it, Marked Man series? Yeah, Marked Man series, and it's Rule. And I believe this is book one. I got some of them on my Kindle, but we all know, for the most part, I don't read on my Kindle. I got all those books, and I keep them for just in case something happens, and I never have a book. I have my Kindle. <laughs> yes 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 and this is a book that is one of my very favorites i really hope you haven't read this grab some tissue okay so i'm hoping i haven't read it either because i like the tear jerkers and what is this a time traveler's wife no i have not read this i hear this is so good and i hear that the movie did this absolutely no justice this was on my tbr list or to buy list or whatever and i just it's not at the very top so i never bought it so i am so thankful for this i love all of these so i'm trying to get my thumbnail for the video such an amazing swap both of them are really good this one takes the cake this one is awesome awesome oh my god i'm so happy so now i can read uh more than likely the first one i'm gonna read is where she went so i can get that out the way <laughs> and that'll be a part of my um series i finished this year see how i cheat i only picked a two book series and i'm gonna finish that but i can't wait to read all of these and i'm so thankful to, to jamie i don't know if she reads um I mean watches my channel or whatever but I am so thankful I had to hurry up and do this because I need to post a picture for Instagram as well so let me stop rambling let me get onto this um picture taken because I need to start getting ready for work and take this hot plastic shirt off but yeah I will talk to you guys in the next video bye